components of a map. Now, basically, whenever you look at a map, there are three important things which you should know, and these are called the components of a map. And these are distance, direction, and symbols. Let's take them one by one. First, I'll check our distance. Now, a map basically, if you see, is not as big as what is represents. So let's say, for example, if I have this big a map of Earth, okay, where it shows, let's say, for example, various countries, various continents, and various places which are there, right? If I look at it, this is hardly 10 centimeter, but our Earth is very big, isn't it? But in order to ensure that, you know, the map has its utility, the distance between the places which is shown on the map should be something which should be real. What that means is, what we do is, every given distance, so every map has something what is called a scale. A scale basically represents the ratio of actual distance vis-a-vis -vis its size on the map. What does this mean? So let's say for example, these are two places A and B and the distance between them is 1000 kilometers. Now, the distance between them, the actual distance on Earth may be 1,000 kilometer, but then the map it might be shown as 1 centimeter. So we say that the map has a scale of 1,000 kilometer is to 1 centimeter. So every 1 centimeter on the map actually represents 1,000 kilometers. This is known as the scale. But you know, when you are drawing a map, you have to be careful. What I mean by that is that every place, let's say for example you have a place here which is C and place here which is D and the distance between these two actually on earth is 2000 kilometers. Then if I measure this on the map, it should actually be 2 centimeters. Why? Because on the map every 1000 kilometers is represented by 1 centimeter. So this precision has to be there. Otherwise it will become difficult to find the real distance between the two places using map. Okay? So this was one of the things. Now the second thing is direction. Normally if you will see a map on the right hand side somewhere on the top over here you would have something which is written as north. Okay? This arrow which is there is known as the north line. It represents the north direction. Once you know the north direction, whichever way it's being pointed out, then you can easily find out the other direction. How? We know north is here, south is here, right? East is here, west is here. So once you know which is the direction to north, you can adjust the remaining accordingly. Isn't it? There is also one other instrument which is called a compass, which is used to find direction. A compass normally has a needle, two-sided, and these needles, because of the magnetic field, represent or actually point towards the north and the south directions, okay, and can be used to find out directions. This is particularly true in cases of expeditions or people who are traveling frequently. And the last thing is symbols. Now, how about symbols? Let's say, for example, I belong to India okay and I go to a place in China where I am unable to find a map which is in English although this is not the case practically because you would get it everywhere and I don't understand Chinese then even while using a map if I have to find out a place can I do that so these symbols what they do is they represent certain places okay so let's say for example, a symbol could be something like this. Can you find out what exactly this is? I'm sure you would. Or it could be something like this, pointing out various trees. So even if I don't understand the local language, okay, and let's say for example I didn't even knew English, these symbols on the map actually help you to identify places. 
And if you know the directions, you can do it. Now, interestingly, with the change of times, we are in a place and we are in an era where we have something which is also called Google Maps. So maybe instead of using the physical map, which I have told you about, we are more and more moving towards a situation where we are using Google Maps. These are available on your phones. You can try it at your home and you should try it at your home to understand. And they actually tell you very, very precise information. And you know, many a times it's so good that you can even use the directions. Okay, the directions manual, which is there in these maps and they can actually guide you from one place to the other. So instead of finding out how to go from A to B by using a map, I just feed in there that I am a place A and I want to go to the place D, for example, let's say. And it will tell you exact direction, it will tell you where to take a right, where to take a left, and a very advanced application, I should say. Something you should be aware of as you are moving in a te technology age. I hope you would have understood this thing. Thank you for being with us today.